starting live video. And now, from Corona, California, it's Friday Night Live. No, it's not Friday Night Live. It's Fast Start Friday. <laughs> I can hear you. Simon Jacoby, what's up, buddy? I'll call you back after this, man. Crazy day. Crazy day. Catch up day today. What's up, Myra? What's up, Christy? What's up, Jack Miller? Long time no talk or hear from. Good to see you on here, Jack. Reach out and connect. What's up, Gregory? Simon, call me after this, buddy. I owe you a call back. Um, or no, I'll call you after this, actually. What's up, Roberto? Mi amigo Roberto de Arkansas. <laughs> What's up, Elizabeth? What's up, Elaine Corliss? How's your mouth feeling? Karen, how are you? Welcome to Fast Start Friday. Sandra, good evening. Diane, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Fast Start Friday. Share this out, please, you guys. And hit some comments in here so that this pops into people's news feed. How's everybody doing on this Fast Start Friday? Hey, Cheryl, great seeing you last night. Ronnie, what's up, Ronnie? Diane in Alaska. Is it getting cold yet, Diane, up there? Hey, Keith. Oh, Elaine, mouth still hurts. I'm sorry to hear that, sister. We will continue to pray for healing. Uh, Gregory in Sacramento, I love it. All right. Yay, Sandra, good. Share it out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think J-Doc is probably sharing. Uh, hey, Jeremy, great to see you last night. Uh, I got your text, but I need your address. <laughs> um, text me your address, please. Uh, let's see. Dwayne, how's it going? Treasure, good to see you. Mike Bell, Kelly Bell, what's up, you guys? Soon to be neighbors. Uh, sooner that's becoming later, but it's still coming. Uh, Kathleen, great to see you. All right. Let's see, because I'm using my phone. I don't even know what time it is. Can somebody type in the comments what time it is? Oh, it's 6 o'clock on the nose. Oh, J-Doc says 6 o'clock on the nose. So that's the time that we usually get this party started. So we will do so. All right, everybody. Welcome to Fast Start Friday. And today, who saw, who noticed... In the comments for the post. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> Who noticed what today's topic is going to be? If you know, if you read, if you paid attention to kind of the specific focus for today's Fast Start Friday, uh, put a little hand up emoji so I can see who's paying attention. Don't worry, there's not a test. Don't worry, we're not going to grade you on this. I just want to see who's kind of aware of what we're going to focus on tonight. I'm going to wait until somebody takes some guesses and types something in. I love, you know what I love about doing this now via Facebook Live is it's interactive. That's fun. I don't like yakking into a phone as much as I like doing Facebook Live. Because even though I can't see all you guys, what's up Darius? I can at least see your comments and so it feels interactive and so that's fun. Okay, uh, Ferris, Ferris. Anyone? Bueller? Ferris? Bueller? The War of? Anyone? Anyone? The War of 1912? Okay, enough of that. I'm just waiting for a comment to see who honed in on what we're going to be focusing on tonight. Okay, I'm not waiting for you anymore. Tonight, we're going to be talking about it is the season to connect with your sphere. It is the season to connect with your sphere. But before I dive into that, let me hit on a couple of I guess announcements, if you will, a couple logistical things I want to make sure you guys are in the loop on. Um, the first of which being just making sure that uh, Orlando is on your guys' calendar, right? You've heard me say this probably several times already, uh, but as my dad has taught me, nothing happens until you say when. Folks, the way you work this business is you work it backwards from the national events to the regional events to your local event. That's how you fill your calendar up. You actually work backwards, okay? And so the next big, big, big event in our world of Viseo is Orlando Dream Conference. J-Doc just put it in there. Thank you, babe. 
January 5th through the 9th. You're going to want to travel on the 4th because we're going to be rocking full speed on the 5th. So try not to waste one of the days of the conference, which is the 5th, as one of your travel days. Um, so travel on the 4th. Make sure that's on your calendar, guys and gals. That's got to be on your calendar so that you can start planning accordingly. Um, our hotel room is already booked. We're starting to look at our flights. Um, you know, now's the time to start to take care of the logistics. Gentry's will be there. Love that. Okay, so that's the first key item on your calendar. The next item that I need all of you to calendar, many of you already are plugging into, obviously, all things Hope Brokers as best as you can, which is fantastic. We've got a, uh, uh, an update to the way we're going to be scheduling, and uh, Jolene has talked about this uh, as well. Uh, Mondays starting this coming Monday will be Diamond Mondays, okay? Diamond Mondays, you can follow the corporate calendar. It'll be the same dial-in number um, that Dallin just did the state of the company call on. And so this is going to be really powerful, everybody. Every Monday will be a different diamond, and there will be a great rotation. It's going to be very teaching and training oriented. It's not going to be um, as much... Uh, inspiration and motivation as it is step by step by step the how to's the teaching and training so diamond Mondays make sure that that is in your calendars you're gonna want to dial in on that get some you know some some maybe new perspective dis different perspective you're not gonna hear probably some far out random crazy new concepts but sometimes a different person will present the same information in a slightly different way that'll help it resonate with you. And so obviously to get that from folks who have already built a diamond ship here in Viseo is a big deal, folks. It's a pretty big deal. Um, it tells you that they've already obviously cut their teeth in the industry for the most part. They worked really, really hard to get to diamond. Um, they, they've, they've been in the trenches. They've driven the miles. They've flown the miles. They've put in the hustle. And for a lot of them, they've got years and years and years and years of building themselves, whether it be specifically in a network um, or, or even just in general, in entrepreneurship, in leadership, in, in servant leadership, in business, uh, in those different types of capacities. So um, the chance to get to learn from other diamonds in Viseo, again, it's a big deal because it's a big accomplishment. Anywhere in the home-based business industry, if someone's achieved the rank of diamond, you need to know you're dealing with a professional. You're dealing with somebody that treated their business like a business. You're dealing with somebody that knew how to take massive action, figured out how to work around the other busyness of their schedule and really put in the work, put in the sweat equity, got their hustle on. Um, and so I'm looking forward to uh, Diamond Mondays and I want all of you guys to not miss out on that. So have that on your calendar. So diving in. For tonight, tis the season to connect with your sphere. Here's what I want to basically encourage everybody on uh, a few things tonight, okay? You know, we talk a lot about a Mac attack. We talk a lot about massive action. And we talk a lot about build a big list and hammer through it as quickly as you can. Say less to more people. And all those things are absolutely true. Um, you want to start a lot of conversations with as many people as you can. And then for those that are willing participants, for those that are interested, it'll turn into a conversation, not a monologue, right? That's why we believe in saying less to more people. If it's you saying a lot to a few people, you're having a bunch of monologues that really aren't relationship based because you're doing all the talking, right? Um, however, all that being said, here's what I really want to kind of get to tonight, um, this is a relationship business, and we talk about that all the time. And so what I want to encourage everybody to do in particular because of the season that, it's, that, that, that we're entering into right now, right? It's the holiday season. Um, the Christmas commercials are already in full throttle. J-Doc and I were talking about that today. Oh my goodness, the full attack bombardment is on, right? Everywhere you look, get into any kind of retail environment, it's all christmas out. Uh, if you're listening to the radio, you're hearing Christmas commercials already. If you're turning on the TV for any reason at all, you're seeing Christmas commercials. And so here's what I know as it relates to um, what we're talking about tonight and ultimately being in the people business, folks. Again, it's all about relationships and remember this and write this down everybody type this into the comments right people don't care about what you know until they know how much you care 
okay? People don't care about how much you know or what you know until they know how much you care. This is a time of year, folks, where I just think our sensitivity meters tend to go up a little bit, right? Maybe because it's the holidays. I think sometimes that can actually be a bad thing because we get our feelings hurt too easily. Um, but here's what I'm really, where I'm going with that is that this is a great time of year to just take a, a look at your list, revisit your list, and maybe put a little heart or an asterisk next to the people on your list. Put a heart next to the people on your list that, you know, that are near and dear to you, that you're fond of, that you maybe either you know, like to do life with that you, you know, that you used to have a, maybe a really close or you still have a really close friendship or relationship with, um, et cetera. And you know, one of my favorite conversation starters this time of the year is ultimately just asking people, hey, have you started thinking about your New Year's resolutions yet? You know, you guys could all send like 50 text messages out in the matter of an hour probably to people that are already in your phone, people you already have relationships with. You wanna talk about setting yourself up for the greatest year you've ever had in 2018. How many of you, if you want 2018, if you really want it, please don't put it if you don't. If you really genuinely are ready to make 2018 your best year yet, I want you guys to type 2018 in the comments, 2018. Type that into the comments, type 2018 if you legitimately, genuinely are ready to do what it takes to make 2018 the best year you've ever had. So here's where that starts. It starts with a mindset to want to serve, bless, and help other people. So here's a great way to start that conversation. You know, for as much as we want to Mac attack and take massive action, here's the flip side to that coin. Because how many of you guys know that every time there's a point, there's a counterpoint, right? It's all about finding that balance. It's all about finding the happy medium, the balance to being effective in this business. So while on one, time, on one hand, we want to take massive action, we want to say uh, less to more people, we don't want to do so, we don't want to get so caught up in this frenzy of activity that it comes across as insincere, right? To where we look like we're just trying to go through the motions. And so... This is a great time of year to start setting coffee appointments. Catch up with people. Sit down and find out, like I said, what are they looking forward to in 2018 for themselves? And a great way to start that conversation is just send a text message and say, hey, have you started thinking about your New Year's resolutions yet? Because everybody sets them, right? I know that highly effective people set New Year's resolutions every night before they go to bed. And every week, every weekend before they start the next week and every month, right? Highly effective people are goal-oriented. All a New Year's resolution is is a goal, okay, or a set of goals. And so, but for the masses, for most people, um, we don't operate with goal setting as frequently as we probably should. And this is a development business, right? Part of being a hope broker is that we get to immerse ourselves in personal development. And so there's a good chance that a lot of people on your list are stuck in the once a year mode. They do New Year's resolutions once a year. But the upside to that is that now is when that is starting to be at the front of their mind. And so now is when you can seize this timing. Now is when you can utilize the fact that it tis the season to start to reconnect with your sphere of influence. And so just start to reach out to people and ask them if they've started thinking about 2018 yet. And then, you know what I encourage all of you to do so that you are authentic and genuine? Well, I'm gonna ask all of you, have you started thinking about your 2018 yet? Have you started writing your goals? Have you updated your dream board or your dream list? Do you have an idea of what you're both intent on accomplishing and what you're hopeful for and what you're praying for already for your 2018 because here's where this relationship dynamic starts to get most effective folks is that when you reach out to the people on your candidate list to start a conversation about their 2018 and here's what I would encourage um, if they're local Get together with them, guys and gals. 
I know, I think Jolene, it was, I think, again, I give J Doc a lot of credit because she's the real deal, right? Uh, and it's not just because she's my wife. I mean, I tell her every day, and no flattery at all, I think most of you know this, uh, she, she, she would be diamond with or without an R Doc, uh, hands down. No question about it. She is diamond J Doc. Um, but, you know, uh, she talked about the fact that. Um, you know, this is, it, 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 it's still a belly to belly business. It's still a relationship business. And folks, there's nothing better than one on ones. There's just, that is the most effective mechanism you've got to build your business is being sincere and authentic. And we can't hide behind technology. That's what I think Jolene was talking about the other day is that while things like Facebook Live are great, and um, while certainly we want to make the full use of, Things like Zoom meetings, um, you know, at the end of the day, you can't beat a good home meeting like we had in Lancaster last night. And even though we were full throttle and we got through the entire five pillars and a little bit of, of you know, goal setting and talking about the calendars and we did it all in 30 minutes. And I know I can speak at a high velocity and I did last night, but even though we got through it very rapidly, the cool thing is we allowed a lot of time afterwards for people to just bond and connect and hugs and high fives. And folks, there's never going to be a substitute for that. As great as it is that getting to be, well, whatever, you get to see my ugly mug. I only get to see little icons of your faces when you comment. But to whatever extent this is face to face, it's never going to be as good as when we really sit down with people and just kind of see how it's going. I had a one-on-one -on -one today with a reconnecting with an old friend from church who I actually haven't been face to face with in probably almost 10 years. But we sat down for a one-on-one -on -one today and it was great. And there's just, you cannot beat that. Um, and so where I'm going with this and where I want all of you to go with this is while certainly a text message to start the conversation of, Hey, have you started thinking about your 2018 yet? That's a great way to start the conversation, but here's where I want all of you to be going with this. I want you guys to all set the goal, speaking of goal setting, of doing more one-on-ones over the next eight weeks than you've done for the prior 10 months, okay? How many of you guys are up for that challenge? I want you to type in challenge accepted. You guys said, right? I saw some of you respond. You typed it in. You said 2018. You typed it. I asked you. If you're ready to do what it takes to really make 2018 the best year you've ever had, I asked you to type in 2018 and a bunch of you did. So you're going to start that today. And the way you're going to start that is what we're talking about tonight. I'm giving you guys a very simple set of action steps that are highly duplicatable, that are all about the fundamentals and basics of our business because that's what Fast Start Friday is, is trying to help you guys hone in on the fundamentals. Going diamond is not about possessing a unique set of skills. It's about hustling your tail off with the fundamentals, period, okay? And so the task or the challenge, if you accept it, is to go do more one-on-ones. Connect with people authentically, genuinely. Go do more of those over the next two months than what you've done so far the previous 10 months. Let's finish 2017 so strong that 2018 has no choice but to be epic. Somebody type in epic. I hope all of us are looking forward to an epic 2018. And so here's what's going to make that count when you go sit down with people that you can share with them what you're looking forward to in 2018. And that's why I spent a few minutes asking all of you tuning in right now. Have you started thinking about your 2018? Because if you are going to be genuine and authentic when you sit down with the people in your life to talk to them and learn about what they're looking forward to in 2018, there's value in you sharing what you're looking forward to for 2018. And so that's why I wanted you guys to be thinking about it for yourselves. And, and that way you guys can share in that with each other. And here's what I know inevitably. Um, you'll have a natural opportunity to help them understand that one of the ways you're going to achieve some of your goals and dreams for 2018 is by being a hope broker with Faseo. And so it's going to give you a very natural, seamless opportunity to share Viseo with them in a very authentic way where you didn't ask them out to coffee to pitch them. You, you didn't Jedi mind trick them. You didn't bait and switch them. 
right? The art of communication, folks, works in the same ratio as two ears to one mouth. You want to win big in the people business, listen twice as much as you talk, and when you are talking, it should be predominantly asking questions. Just showing an interest in the people that you're with. A genuine interest, not an interrogation, right? A genuine interest. And inevitably, that's where we get the whole F-O-R-M from. Is uh, You know, that's basically just a kind of a, a point of reference to find out what's going on in their life. To just simply ask questions, right? Um, to show that interest, like... I already said previously tonight, I know all of you have heard it before. People are really not going to care how much you know until they know how much you care. Well, how do you communicate that you care? By asking questions, not by giving information, right? We also frequently use the phrase uh, that facts and figures tell, but stories sell. Um, you know, we got great videos with Viseo to do the information part, folks. I mean, hands down. That You want to use your Viseo app, use your tools. You don't need to be the information person. Just let the app do the work for you. You be the person that cares. You be the person that, that opens your heart up and shares it with their heart. Seriously. You be the person that tells them, you know what? I want to help you make 2018 your best year ever. Whether that means Viseo for them or not, by the way, folks. You want to know one of the reasons why I think JDoc and I have been... There's a zillion reasons why we've been very, very blessed. But I think one of them is that we didn't dismiss people just because they didn't choose to do our network at whatever time we might have reached out to originally share with them. Um, we've tried to maintain an interest level in what's going on in people's lives, whether they're in our network or not. Um, and ultimately, in the long run, that comes full circle um, because people will remember way more how you made them feel than, than, you know, what you might have said or what you might have known. Uh, people will remember way more how you made them feel than, again, than something you might have said, okay? And so you can make people feel really good. You know what everybody's favorite topic is to talk about? I want, if you guys know, type it into the comments. What is everybody's favorite topic to speak about? I'm going to pause for a minute because I want to see if anybody knows this. Some of you probably do. I think everybody's probably somewhat wired in a similar fashion in this context. What is, er that's right, Myra was the first one to type it in. Ding, 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 Myra Beard, you win the prize. Love you, sister Myra. Yes, themselves. Everyone's favorite thing to talk about is themselves. So how do you make people feel good about their time they spent with you? By giving them a platform to share about what's near and dear to them, what's on their heart, what's on their mind. Folks, listen, a three to five year part-time game plan with Faseo is the shortcut, okay? We're with a two-time billion dollar champion. We're with some of the most epic winners in the history of the relationship business, like Rob Alwyn, like a J-Doc, like a Vincent and Carrie St. Louis, like a Mike McCleary, a Dr. Tony Smith. I could go on and on and on. Alan Delaney, like folks, there are epic leaders, Elaine Corliss. I mean, again, don't get me started. Um, listen, we have the leadership. We've got the goods, okay? We, we, at the end of the day, um, we've got the, the total package. We've got everything it takes to help people um, be able to win. Now they just need to know that we care, right? They just need to know we're here to help them. Um, that's what really at the end of the day, um, this business is all about. And so we don't need to be in this crazy breakneck speed hurry, like I already said, to where it almost starts to feel disingenuous. We've already got the shortcut. We don't have to act like, you know, that we're so busy that we can't genuinely slow down a little bit, spend some time with people, really connect on a heart level. You wanna build a big business, connect on a heart level, with people to some degree the beginning step in that process yes say a lot less to a lot more people because you're just trying to start the conversation you're not trying to puke on them right that's really what that means no puking let's make it a dialogue not a monologue you want to you want to again you want to listen twice as much as you're speaking um, but at the end of the day a three to five year plan with 
having a five-star opportunity like we do is the shortcut, okay? So we don't need to be in so much of a hurry that we don't take the time to really genuinely connect with people so they know we actually care, okay? You're gonna get there. Um, you're gonna get there even faster when you slow down to connect with people more authentically. I promise you that. Um, that's just the way it works. This is a three to five year plan, not a three to five month plan. Uh, we haven't even completed really a full year yet, right? The ribbon cutting was at the end of May. Um, so folks, we're just getting started. Even if uh, even if there's some of you tuning in that were at the home of Dallin and Carrie Larson with Rob and I in October of last year, we're still just getting started. So it's been one year. We said it's a three to five year plan. So I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're already black time. And Rob will tell you this. He's just getting started, folks. We, any of us, are just getting started. This is a three to five year plan. That's the fast track, okay? So let's not try to shortcut the shortcut, right? Everybody type that in, please. No shortcutting the shortcut. Or you could say, I am not going to shortcut the shortcut. Or you can type, don't shortcut the shortcut, or however you wanna say it, okay? No shortcutting the shortcut. All right, guys and gals, so. Understand something. Last thing I want to touch on very quickly. Babe, how am I doing on time? Um, 24. Okay, perfect. So here's the last thing about one-on-ones, um, guys and gals. There is a stair step, and I'll do another training on this where maybe I get our flipboard so I can really map this out for you. But there is a stair step sequence to how you win big in this business. I started off by making sure that all of you have the dream conference on your calendars. We work backwards by scheduling the big events first, but you know how we get to the big events? So we step down from our calendar. We go national events, regional events, local events, and one-on-ones. But to get up the steps, we go up, okay? So first thing is, you gotta go meet somebody for a one-on-one. -on -one. You gotta make it convenient. You gotta go to them. You gotta go to your prospects, okay? So. The more one-on-ones you do, guess what will happen next? You're going to get a lot more people to come to your home meetings, folks. Home meetings, like, like Rob said, I've built a black diamond ship twice, going from potluck to potluck to potluck to potluck, okay, folks? But listen, your attendance at your potlucks will go up exponentially if, if that's not their first look. It's very difficult to get people to take some of their time to go do something when they don't know what the something is. I mean, sure, the food brings them out and some of you are amazing cooks and so I'll show up to your potluck anytime. But you're gonna get a lot better attendance at your home meetings and that's where the magic happens for sure. But that means you have to go and plant the seed first. Go to them. So the stair steps are you do a one-on-one -on -one first. Then they're gonna come to your home meeting. Then you can get them to a regional event and then the odds of them actually understanding why there's value in attending a national event like the Dream Conference in Orlando is going to make a lot more sense to them, folks. So plan your work, work your plan. Don't try to shortcut the shortcut. Part of that means don't try to get a brand new prospect on the phone and book them for Orlando. Folks, you got to do the work. Again, don't shortcut the shortcut. So you take the time to go have a one-on-one -on -one with them. Learn what's going on in their life. See how they're doing. Of course, you're going to have your samples with you. Of course, you've got the mobile app so you can show them videos, right? But that's your first step. Then you're going to obviously invite them to the next home meeting and there's a higher probability that they will come. And then the idea of them coming to a regional starts to make a lot more sense because they have an idea of what they're part of. And then you will get people who will plug in and engage and come to the Dream Conference in Orlando. Now, I will tell you this. You want to measure the trajectory for your business. That's like a mouthful. I don't even know how to spell it. Maybe some of you do. Type in trajectory. I just want to see how to spell it. Um, listen, the more people you have with you in Orlando, the greater your trajectory for 2018. So at the end of the day, is there a goal to get as many people to Orlando as possible? Yes. But again, how will you do that? Because you're going to send a lot of text messages to schedule a time to get with people. You're going to connect with them. You're going to go have coffee. You're going to do the work, folks. You're going to do the work, okay? It's worth it. It's still the shortcut. Um, you're going to go from that one-on-one -on -one to home meetings, and you're going to start to have housefuls of rocking home meetings between now and the end of the year, 
And as a result of those home meetings, you're going to get a whole bunch of people booked for Orlando because there's probably not a lot of regionals between now and the Dream Conference. So anyway, everybody, love you guys. Hopefully, these are some of the basics that will resonate with you. Love seeing all of you tune in on Fast Start Friday. Uh, JDoc's got a great uh, Saturday roundtable call lined up for tomorrow, so make sure you're planning to tune into that. That will still be a phone call because we're trying to work out the uh, uh, the technology to be able to do that on Facebook Live where there's multiple uh, people who get to share. So tomorrow will just be a regular phone call, our standard Hope Broker dial-in number 71243 two zero zero seven five eight a.m pacific time uh that would be nine a.m mountain time which unless you're in arizona which would be 10 a.m central time 11 a.m eastern time tomorrow morning the saturday round table call all right guys and gals get your hotel book get your tickets for the dream conference get it on your calendars uh, get Diamond Mondays on your calendars. You're going to want to attend that. And uh, guys and gals, lots and lots and lots and lots of three-way calls. I'm waiting for the phone to ring. Uh, Mike Reno, I know I owe you one, buddy, so let's get that one rescheduled. Sorry I couldn't do it today. But all right, guys, love you. God bless you. We believe in you. We're so grateful to be doing life with you. Uh, you are our blessing, folks. Genuinely, you are. You're our blessing. We love being hope brokers. We love you guys. God bless.